Dear Vice President of Long Distance Traveler Services, Care of Olympus Mons Tourism and Hospitality Office, Mars. Dear Sir and or Madam, after researching your lovely planet as a place to summer, I'd like to request some basic changes to your environmental services. These will meet some fundamental safety requirements we will require upon our arrival. Our research has indicated that your atmosphere is incredibly thin. As a result, the beaches and quite frankly everything else is unacceptably cold. There appears to be no oxygen and there is a conspicuous lack of a magnetosphere, which those of us with meat parts will require for radiation protection. We found that your pressure at sea level is 1% of what we're accustomed to, and as we do not wish to request our guests to wear a special full body suit, please assign your operation staff to sublimating your CO2 polar ice caps immediately. This should replenish your atmospheric density and begin resolving the frigid temperatures of your resorts and overall planet. We will also be requiring a breathable atmosphere suitable for Terran mammals. Our surveys have shown there's oxygen stored inside the regolith. Please find and close some hardy lichens and a gradual regimen of plants to grow over time to begin releasing this gas into the atmosphere. We estimate these initial minor housekeeping requests should take only a few hundred years to get rolling. And although they may make an absolute mess of your beautiful planet, we'll be requiring them so we humans can arrive and begin making an even larger mess on our own. We understand that making the air breathable should take tens of thousands of years, so we suggest you get started immediately. Currently, our outreach comfort teams have not found a solution to the lack of a magnetic field, and we may resort to local solutions, such as genetically engineering our offspring to be more resistant to radiation. Sincerely, Fraser Kane, Tour Coordinator, Universe Today, Planetary Expeditions. P.S. What do you think? Is it ethical to completely change the environment of a planet to suit our needs, or are we really just as Agent Smith describes us, a horrible, smelly virus? Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. We couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community, people like Cliff Stefanik and the many others who join us to help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. Attention, no. Yeah. Attention VP of Long Distance Traveler Services, Care of Olympus Mons, Tourism and Hospitality Office, Mars. To whom it may concern. <laughs> it may concern. All right. One more time. All right.